Hello all, my name is Krishna Ayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about which is the best book to learn and get your basics strong to learn data science. Now see, I, you have probably seen many of my videos guys when I'm actually explaining probably in the white board or in the black board, right? I write a lot of equations. I try to relate that entire theoretical concept in the form of geometric intuition and I'm able to explain it in front of you, right? And this all things definitely when you're seeing the video you'll have the pleasure of watching that but many of my subscriber definitely ask me a question that Krish from where do you see all this kind of content where do you learn this is there any specific book or not so in this particular case guys I'm going to introduce you to this amazing book I hope everybody knows about this particular book I've never mentioned specifically in some of in some of my videos I've mentioned but I really want to create a dedicated video I've told almost all my students it is must that you learn from any kind of platforms, you see any kind of videos, but this book is definitely must. The book that I'm actually talk, going to talk about is Hands-On Machine Learning with SkyKit Learn Keras and TensorFlow 2nd Edition. Now, I started with 1st edition, I've even taken the 2nd edition. I usually like to read the PDF format, I also have an O'Reilly subscription. Again, I, I'm not promoting anything, whether you should buy or not. But definitely this book you should actually have if you're learning data science. Why I'm telling you, understand in data science the most important thing, whether you're learning machine learning and deep learning, your basics needs to be very, very strong, right? Now if I go and see the content of this entire book, right? If I, if I, if I show you the content, so here you can see that uh, what all content it has. It actually has the entire machine learning. It includes deep learning. It also includes reinforcement learning, right? It also focuses on creating end-to-end -end projects. You can see all the tasks that probably I've made separate, separate videos about it. You know, it is basically, the idea is basically from this particular book. I was able to think more creative ideas because of this particular book itself. And I usually, whenever I have to revise anything, when I'm probably taking any kind of live sessions and before that, I usually go through this particular book, go through that specific topic and again, everything I'll be able to remember it. So in this particular book, when you're learning with the end-to-end -end machine learning projects, it will talk about rail data, entire picture, performance metrics, you know, everything along with visualization, all the different kind of problem statement like classification, regression, all the machine learning algorithms that I probably uploaded in my YouTube channel, uh, you know, so here you can see ridge regression, lasso, elastic net, support vector machines, everything, right? Ensemble learning, random forest. And in this particular book, the most amazing thing will be that they'll discuss, they'll try to break down the algorithm very much nicely. They'll try to detail it, discuss about each and every path. So dimensionality reduction, PCA, unsupervised machine learning technique, uh, artificial neural network, deep neural network. Yes, you'll not get topics like object detection and all. But yes, uh, some amount of information you'll be getting, you'll be getting till RNN. So basically the transfer learning, object detection, two more uh, amazing concepts have been put up like uh, fully convolution neural network here. Probably they'll be discussing about RCNN and all. Um, YOLO is also included. Uh, I, I, I missed saying that object detection is not there. I was about to say object detection is also there. So definitely you can see the semantic segmentation right, with respect to RNN, attention mechanism, see attention mechanism, the transformers is also included in this, you know, and probably in the third version, which will all uh, again come after some time, you know, more information will be added, even GANs are included and all. So you'll be seeing that uh, probably when you will be reading this entire book, you know, some of the explanations that I've actually taken when I was actually making a video was from this particular book. I was able to understand the maths properly. Now the thing is that, see, I'm an average guy. I'm, I'm not saying that I'm a very, uh, I'm a guy who can learn and understand everything. No, it is not nothing like that. Uh, it is better that as a data scientist, if I have this particular book, you know, in case of any kind of, you know, confusions and all, I refer this particular book to get my basic strong. Getting your basic right is the most important thing. Understanding the life cycle of the entire project is the most important thing. Understanding the modules that we define or we develop inside that particular life cycle of the project is very much important. Here, uh, probably it is going to use SkyKit Learn, Keras and TensorFlow. Yes, PyTorch library is also there. You can also refer some other books of PyTorch library. But what I feel is that this is still the best book right now in the market to get your basics right and to learn data science. 
once you learn this any kind of complicated problems that you see because here the entire road map the path you know it is which is given over there is with respect to all the modules that are designed that is indirectly telling you that this is the entire life cycle of a data science project right so i definitely wanted to mention this in a separate video as a data scientist from whichever platform you learn always make sure that you have this particular book handy right and how many of you agree or just write down the comment in the comment section of this particular video and tell me how many of you are using this particular book i hope many of you are using this book i definitely tell my students that you have to refer this book if you want to learn anything from books itself right so i hope you like this particular video i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one doll bye bye